Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know we're in a completely different place. We're gonna start adding some lifestyle into my channel. 2020, you're gonna see all sorts of fun things. Obviously makeup is always number one and will always be, but this is still a makeup video in a sense. I wanted to show you my daily routine and where I get ready for my daily routine. My daily tutorials is what I'm trying to say. You guys know I do a daily tutorial every single day on my Instagram and I wanted to show you where I get ready, how I have it set up. Now it's not perfect and pristine because I use it every single day. So what you're seeing right now is you're seeing my kitchen and then you're seeing my dining room which I've transformed kind of into my beauty room. Um, I love being close to the kitchen. My house is very small but it's very warm and it's very cozy. And if you wanna see more, just keep watching. All right guys, I'm gonna give you a quick kitchen tour. We're not gonna go into too much detail, but I did wanna show you my coffee maker and I'm actually gonna link it below. You guys are always asking me about it. And I thought I would just leave you with a link. Ben surprised me with this two years ago. It has not given me one problem and it has saved me some money. So the price tag is a little scary at first. Honestly, I probably wouldn't have. I'm glad he surprised me because I could not hit that add to cart, but it's so wonderful and I just, I honestly, I use it three to four times a day, okay? That's our secret, way too much coffee. But I love it so much and it will be linked below. Okay guys, I'm gonna walk you into my beauty room now. Okay, we're gonna start over here. This is my Cosmo Cube acrylic makeup holder. I love this thing. I kind of just keep things in here and lipsticks that I might just wanna come and grab. I actually don't come over here as often. This one kind of is more for decoration. But I keep things that I know I'm gonna want and I come back to. I have some Laura Mercier lipsticks. I have some ColourPop, some Anastasia glosses, some MAC eyeshadows. Y'all remember these? I'm still not sure about these. I'm still not sure. They're over here. I'm kind of, they're kind of in timeout. That's where they're at right now. And then I have some lashes. Okay, so the one thing I have everywhere is lashes. They're is a never ending surplus of lashes. Next up we have what I like to call, these are my get ready every single day towers. So these have to be here. I have one on each side of me. One holds this case from Amazon. I hope these are still available. I will link these. I just have every Sigma brush in that's ever been created. This is kind of like my backup stash. And then all in here I have face powders, my contour, my, I have a few face brushes. I just have these two face brushes. Y'all, I shed worse than the cats. Who are we kidding? So I have these two face brushes in here that I keep in here. Of course, you know, same bottle, 100 years. And I kind of just have my powders thrown in here because when you're getting ready every single day, you're kind of like, okay, yeah, great. Okay, throw that back in. But this is just some of my favorites. You guys see my Kylie powders that I'm obsessed with. I used to keep foundation in here when I would travel back and forth from the studio, but now that I'm at home, I kind of just keep all of my powders and bronzers in this one. Okay, down here I have lipsticks. I have some of my collectibles. I like to just look at these. You guys remember the Selena from MAC. So beautiful. I have some Kylie lipsticks that I like to use all the time, like my Kylie satin lipstick here. Literally one of my favorites. And then I have things that I need to try. So if I'm like, hey, I need to remember to use that, like these house lab ones. Um, since it's two on my right, I just kind of reach over here and grab it. Down here, I just have extras. These actually came in like a PR box. There was just, I don't know, they were styrofoam and I hate throwing styrofoam away. So I just recycled them and put them down here. I have hair tools everywhere because I have so much hair. I just need the hair tools at all times, everywhere. So uh, there's a lot of Rimmel palettes down there and then there's some hair products as well. Now we're, I'm gonna take you through these drawers. These are products that I know I need to be using. So I try to keep them close to me, yet somehow I always forget. This is some of my ColourPop Super Shocks, the collabs with the Super Shocks. I have a lot of house lab stuff that I need to be using. These are so cool, by the way. Look how cool, shadow everywhere. You just use it all over your face. I love these. And then I have the Fenty liners. I just have things that I'm like, you know what? I need some icing on the cake. And I say icing like, you know, like little, little zhuzh things like, oh, let's do a neon green inner corner. So I kind of keep that in here. Um, I have all of my live glam lippies in this one. 
that I keep, some Galactic stuff, Givenchy, just all stuff I need to just grab and use. Here we have my scrunchie hair clip drawer. I have some Q-tips back here, but these are all of my scrunchies. Well, my scrunchies. These are Doug's scrunchies. I think I use this one because it doesn't crease my hair, but I keep like a million scrunchies for Douglas. And then I have all of my hair barrettes, things like that, my hair pins. Y'all remember the witch from Bugs Bunny? Anybody old enough to remember that? Yeah, that's me all the time. These are everywhere. And I have my clips that I always use. We can put that away. And then we have, what do we got in this drawer? This one, we're gonna have blushes. These are the most beautiful highlighters. Hello, have you ever seen anything? So, oh, I love it. Okay, no, we're not here to swatch. Rose, get under control. We're here to show them. So I just have blushes, some highlighter mixtures in here, just things that I know I need to be using. You guys, these are actually some of my favorite blushes ever. I love them from Rimmel. Um, I have some ColourPop blushes that aren't in the containers. Some of my favorite blushes from my favorite collabs, the peach one, the ColourPop, and then just some classic NARS. I have blushes everywhere, but I kind of just keep them in this drawer. I actually have more over here. And here we just have more lipsticks. Obviously, lipstick is just so common in the industry that there's a million. So I try to just find places for them. I do actually grab these. These are so slept on. These are from Lawless Beauty. They're their liquid lipsticks. They're so comfortable and they just have the prettiest colors. I mean, look at that red. So I highly recommend these. Um, Cameron's actually one of my faves because it's just super, 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 super nude. And we have a bunch of dose of colors. I honestly, my lipstick placement has no rhyme or reason. It's just like, look for a lipstick, grab a lipstick, dust with the cat top. Okay, now we have our bronzers. I hardly ever go to this drawer because since I found my Kylie bronzer in Toasty and my Charlotte Tilbury contour wand, I'm so bad. I need to try out some more of my bronzers. And honestly, guys, this is like a quarter of what I had before I moved back into my house after Hurricane Harvey. So while this looks like a lot, there was so much more, but I gave so much away, so, so much um, just to make room. And then this is my extra drawer. So I have like a backup tassel or my LT sponges are back here or some of my favorite lashes, my favorite lip liners and primer. So this is just my extra, extra drawer. <laughs> I love these. This was actually my first PR from Kylie. They sent over the shimmer eye glazes. Oh, love that. Okay, so we're gonna hop back up top, kind of scoot over, and then we'll look at some more. Okay, we're gonna turn the vanity on. So spicy. I'm just gonna leave it on just for a second to show you because it kind of messes with the rest of our lighting. It's a very warm lighting, but the vanity the, and these drawers are all from Impressions Vanity. So is my mirror right here as well. I couldn't get ready without it. I love my vanity. It's literally been through a hurricane and more. So we're back on top here. This is, this literally just came today. I don't even know if it's out. It'll be out by the time that this video goes up. ColourPop, literally. <laughs> they send something almost every other day. And I love it. So now I'm gonna show you guys this pretty little lipstick holder here. NARS actually sent this to me and it was just so pretty. I had to leave it out and decorate with it. This right here is my favorite thing on my vanity. This is from Brushworks. I'm gonna have their Instagram and a link below. This actually folds up and you can zip it. It zips no matter how full I have it. It's the best thing, honestly. I love it. I can't. I can't travel or live day-to-day -day life without that. This is my very stained, very dirty, very loved makeup towel. The one that I'm always telling you guys about in the daily tutorials. So I kind of leave that, I actually kind of hide it in my chair when I'm done. I'm like, I got that over there, that's a mess. Um, I have my old iPad, this is what I listen to my music on. So these have no rhyme or reason as to why they are set up like this. Um, I actually switched to a little bit smaller mirror so I can kind of see around here and grab things. I have my ColourPop cream gel liners that I use all the time. Just things where I can kind of see them. I have my little brow. This is where I keep all my brow stuff. I always leave my sponge. This is my LT Velvet sponge. I always leave that out so it can air dry. You never want to put that in a drawer. You always want it to be out in the open. Um, I have my concealer brush, my foundation brush. Just things that I just can grab over here really fast. Uh, some ColourPop mascaras. 
I just have a bunch of extra brushes back here. You know, just, just the huge. It's just all here. None of it makes sense. It like makes sense in my head where it is and what it's doing and why it's there. But it kind of just looks kind of rare. Oh, I do love these. These are from Cosmo Cube as well. I'm gonna leave their website below. These are just brush holders. So they have six little compartments here. I love these. I think everybody needs these in their collection, no matter how big or how small. It's seriously so incredible. So I have three of these because that's how many pencils and such that I have. Now in this top drawer, I have lipsticks that I know I need to be using for sure. Um, see, this is the new ColourPop Becky G collab. Things that I just, you know, you just, you need, you know you need to be using before they sell out or things of that nature. Actually, all of these are sold out. So these will be going where I first showed you the other lipstick. So anything that sells out, I kind of move out and move in the next thing. And not only do I have this entire light on, but I also have this little tabletop ring light here from Stellar Lighting. I have a code with them actually, code Rose and Ben for a discount, but I can't get ready every single day without this. It's very light, it just sits here. It has the USB. It's just really awesome. And then I'll have my, this is my phone uh, holder. It's just a car phone holder that sticks to my mirror. It's so easy, you guys. But I'll find a link. Um, last time I checked, I think this one was sold out. But I wanted to show it to you. That way you can kind of see the setup, how it looks. I'm usually, like, I have my mirror right here. That'll be right there. And then I just zoom in on my phone if I need to. And then my light right here in my face. And then this is normally on. Over here, I have lashes that I use on the daily. Uh, my lava lashes, some lashes that people sent me, the Anastasia ones. And then, I don't know why, but these calm me to look at them. They're just so pretty and I love how square they are. These are the Huda lipsticks and I love them right here. I'm actually not sure why this is here, Ben. Why, why is this here? Were we doing some extractions? He actually takes over my vanity deep in the night. It's the cutest thing ever. You guys actually got a glimpse the other day. Um, this I just got, so we're going to be trying that out. All of my setting sprays, my two brush cleaners. I'm trying this one out right now. I've tried this one for years and I love it. But I think I'm loving this one just as much. I'm gonna keep you guys updated. And some little maybe uh, Baby Fix Plus. And then this is the powder you guys have seen recently. Look how filthy I am all the time. I'm a mess. And then my powder that I just mix and leave in here. It's a good time. And this is also from Cosmo Cube. So all my acrylics are from Cosmo Cube and I cannot live without them. Now over here, I have all my eye zhuzh, I like to call it. So I have my glitters, um, my toppers. Oh, I love those so much. Some more super shocks. Anything that's just gonna add some more pizzazz. These are liquid eyeshadows that I would layer on top of other eyeshadows. Of course, all of my incredible P. Louise bases. Aren't they so pretty? They're just a happy family, look at them. Um, my other P. Louise bases, these are actually really cool. From Kaja, aren't these super cool? I like these, and in fact, I wanted to use this orange one next. So there's three in here, super cool. This, and then some glitters. These are my dose of colors glitters that I actually use all the time. Um, and then of course my ColourPop. Which ones are these called? Oh, the Jelly Much. Of course. Why do I forget these things? You know, when you're on the spot, your brain's like, guess what? No. These are so hard for me to get open. I usually pop them open with my tweezers. But look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. This is actually one of my favorite drawers. This acrylic organizer is from Impressions Vanity. So if you see them inside, they are specially made for these vanities and they're from Impressions Vanity. So what we have here is we have a bunch of concealers, ones that I love, ones I'm trying out. These are new, this is the glow wand. So I just have like random glow wand in here. It's still kind of like a concealer all my pretty fresh. And then back here in all of this chaos are some of my favorite primers, love, and some I'm trying out, question mark. And you're not supposed to be there. I have some of my brow stuff here, my Kylie Skin lip balm, can't live without that. And then of course my soap brows. This is just like a concealer and brow. And then this is the translucent powder that I put on my brows every single day. So this is the first drawer that I always, always go to right here. Okay, so what we got here is more blushes and more bronzers. These are actually some of my favorites. Look at this, look how much I've used this. These were the Disney ColourPop collab. If these are still available, go get them. 
Uh, my code actually works on them. Code Rose for a ColourPop discount now on collabs and everything. Look at that. How pretty. Look, I just barely touched that. Oh. God, I don't even want to touch them. I love them so much. And then I have my favorite bronzers, my tequila tan, and my toasties over there. Um, Winter Kissed, I swear this is my favorite blush in the whole world. Just random blushes, and I only have the highlighters in here because they go with this collection, and my girls can't be separated, okay? They gotta stick together. They're better as a team. And now, um, these are new, the ColourPop Becky G. I'm loving these. So I just kinda have these over here just to grab. I've been using this in my videos and I put it over here so I can start using it. It's from Rimmel and it's kind of the prettiest color bronzer I've ever seen. So we're gonna start incorporating that. All right, next drawer. Okay, here we have foundations. Now I have usually two of everything because there's winter rose and there's summer rose. Right now we're full winter rose. We are like, okay, which one is the most fair? Today I have on this one right here from La Mer. I know, I know. I, You know, honestly, <laughs> remember in Mean Girls when she wears her sweatpants and she's like, this is all that fits me right now. That's kind of how I feel with this one because I feel so bad because I know it's so pricey. But I'm like, it's all that matches me right now. <laughs> Love this one. Um, I've been into this one lately. And again, my acrylic organizer here is from Impressions Vanity, and then right now, this is probably my closest one. This is the one you'll see me use the most of at the moment. I mean, would it even be Rose's Vanity if we didn't see this? This one is just a hair too dark for me right now, and I'm so upset. I'm gonna have to go get a little bit lighter shade, but this is the Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable from Rimmel. This right here, it's on a mini of Vanity now. Everybody loves this one. I'm so glad you guys love it as much as I do. So now we just have more glitters, Anastasia glitters, toppers, flippers, and floppers, you know, the whole Whoville spiel. Um, I have some Ofra blushes and highlights. I love these. These are some of the best highlighters I've ever used, but right now your girl Rose, and she's just not into highlighters. So I kind of have these hanging out and just waiting till I get back into my glowy, glow ball self. And then down here, we just have a whole plethora of my Gerard goodies. Love Gerard Cosmetics so much. Love you, Jen. This is my little drawer dedicated to Gerard. And um, Dollar Store, yes, please, and thank you. Okay, now this one looks like it makes no sense. And to your eye, it probably doesn't. But to me, it makes total sense. So this is my, where's my liner? Where's my mascara? Where is it at? I need it. This is my everything, but it's all eye-based. So if I need an inner corner highlighter, or if I need my eyeshadow sponge, I mean my eyeshadow primer sponge, just always, these two are always dry, so they're okay to be in here. They never ever get wet. Um, I have coffee eye pencil, which should not be in there actually. That goes over there. And you know, honestly, this is the one that I take if Ben and I stay overnight somewhere, so I always throw these little NARS lip balms in here. And this is my favorite gel liner at the moment. This is why we can't have nice things. I want Ben to get in on this. Do you see this? And we have my little bottom lash mascara. And my Natasha Denona Blackest Black. And of course, my famous P. Louise that I use every single day. This is my still my first little tube of this and it's still going strong. So I just have all kinds of things in here. More lash glue. This is just like, okay, I need to do this real fast. It never stays cute. Like there's no way this one can stay cute, but this is honestly, I work out of this one probably the most. Okay, so these are all palettes that I need to use. Um, newest one, oh, oh, don't look at that one. That one, don't look at that one. Um, let's see what else. Um, let's see, just things that are going to come out, things that you guys want me to use mainly. I feel like ColourPop has a new one every week, so it's just filled with ColourPop. And let's see what else. We have the Huda one. This is just my grab. Um, I kind of plan each week, like Sunday, I will take ones out of here and I'll put the new ones in that I know I need to be using. So this is one of my favorite parts of my makeup. And down here, we just have the Mad Dash is what I like to call it. Mad dash to get it off my vanity. These are things that I love, but they've sold out. This is kind of like the sad graveyard that I won't get rid of. Y'all feel me? And then of course, Rose be frizzing all the time. She'd be like, frizz. 
that's the noise that my hair makes. So we gotta keep that down there. Ooh, and my favorite heat protectant. Love that one. GHD for the win. Okay, these are all of my lip pencils. Um, these are here because they're kinda all over your face pencils from Makeup Forever, I love these. Um, some awesome old-timey MAC ones, all my Kylie ones, House Labs has made its way over here. Kylie, ColourPop. I love lip liners, like, I just love the way they look. And then all here, my dearest, I'll call her my other mother, Dana, when my collab was done in Sephora, this was my collab with Formula X that was inside Sephora. Well, when it was done, she drove, I think it was almost three hours to her nearest Sephora to go get these. And she had them framed for me. And they mean so much. She is so incredible. I love you so much, Dana. I'm gonna make you watch this because I mentioned you. She never watches my stuff. I'm just gonna put her on blast like that. No, but I just had to put these up. Honestly, they mean the world to me. Not only was it a special collaboration, but the fact that she did that for me means so much. So yeah, this, these were my nail polish colors. And then the chair is also from Impressions Vanity. So I wanted to get a shot of me, like how I sit, so you guys can just see it. So I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna get all comfy. All right, so I'm kinda gonna show you how I just, I sit here and I get ready. So what I do is I always take my phone case off because it will not fit in here. Oh, velvet caviar. It'll be linked. Code ROSE15 for a discount. Okay, so we're gonna act like we're sitting down to get ready. So the first thing I do is I take my phone case off from velvet caviar, linked below. Code ROSE15 for a discount. And I always set it about right there. And then I'll set it over here. I'll put my phone in my holder. I usually bring this about right here. And then I'll flip it up. That way you can kind of see me even through in here. What is this filter? So then you'll see that. And then notice how I zoomed it in. I can zoom all the way in, all the way out. And that's what I do. That way I don't have to move in and out. I don't have to move my phone. I just let this do the work. You feel me? Okay, now let's get out of that so you can kind of see the setup. And then this is about just like this all the time. This is no different. This is always like this. And then I'll have a palette. This normally has my Yeti on it with my water. I was gypped today. Gypped. And then <laughs> I have my brushes right there. And then I normally pick out whatever I'm gonna do, my palette, uh, like so, and I just, I go to town. And that's, that's how I get ready. And that's my little workstation. So this here is the most rotten, spoiled thing that has ever existed with his Christmas Grinch bow. <laughs> Look at his nose moving. He is so used to a camera in his face that he doesn't even dare move. And just before he got in my lap, he actually jumped on Judah to get up here and Judah did not move. All of them are best friends and they waller each other and I love it. That's Jazzy Main, Jazzmeralda, Jazzercise, Jazznificent, and Jazzmanian Devil. Those are all her And names. then this is my most floofy fluff. This is Judah. If you guys ever wonder about his eye, he was actually hit by a car five years ago because he was very silly that day, weren't you? So now he doesn't get to go outside. I have to keep him on a leash when I take him out. He can't be trusted, but thank God he's alive and he gets around just fine. He still has a little bit of vision in it too. But you guys always ask me, so I just wanted to let you know. But is he happy and healthy? You tell me. Tell me. I'm about to get bit. Ooh. <laughs> All right, guys, that's my little get ready room. It's small, but it's mine and I love it. And I love how it's kind of in the middle of everything. So I know what everybody's doing at all times, especially these three, rotten. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's different. I wanna start incorporating lifestyle in, like I said, and you guys have been requesting this. So pretty soon, I'll have the rest of my house finished because it has been a process and we'll do an entire house tour. So until then, we'll see you in the next tutorial. I love you.